me glad in. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. For this is the day. 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 This is the day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. 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 He word, he is God. This is the day. Come beside him. Hallelujah. He is God. This is the day oh, yeah. that he has made. This day. He, this day here Hallelujah. The day that he has set aside that we well, come yes, to Lord. the house of prayer. Yes. Yes, Lord. To rejoice. To rejoice. And be glad. Yes, yes Lord. And we are glad. Thank you. We are glad. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glad to be in the number one more one time. One more time. Hallelujah. One more time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He has allowed us to come together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One Hallelujah. more time. Hallelujah. One, one more time. He allowed us to sing together. Oh, yes. One more time. Oh, Hallelujah. Yes. He allowed us to pray together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At this time, we're going to do on him. Amen. Amen. What a friend we have in Jesus. Hallelujah. Our hymn number is 340. Hallelujah. Amen. What a friend we have in Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. All our sins and griefs to bear. Yes. What a privilege to carry. Uh huh. Everything. Somebody say everything. Everything. To God in prayer. Yes. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. Yes. You know why? Because all oh, because we do all not carry. Yes. Everything to God in prayer. Hallelujah. At this time, we have our scripture. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for a friend. Hallelujah. Friend, Lord Somebody should say, Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for the scripture. We thank you for the scripture. Hallelujah. Because there's power. Power. Power in the scripture. Our scripture will be coming from the book of John, the sixth chapter, starting at the 45th verse. We actually please stand for the reading of God's word. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. For it is holy. Amen. Hallelujah. We stand Amen. in holiness. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, and it is written by the prophet that they shall be all taught all of taught. God. Every man therefore that has heard and has heard and learned Every man. Mm -hmm. of the Father God. cometh to me. Not that any man have seen the Father, save he which is of God. He has seen the Father. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth in me has everlasting life. I am the bread of life, your father did eat manna in the wilderness and died. This is the bread in which cometh down from heaven that a man may eat therefore and not die. Not die. I am the living bread which come down from heaven. Yes, Lord. If any man eat any of man. this bread, he shall he he, yes, Lord. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. Forever. The bread that I give well, of well. my flesh, which that I give of my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, Amen. give God glory. Hallelujah. For the Amen. reading of his word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Life everlasting. Hallelujah. Uh, him Hallelujah. again is what a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. Yeah. What, what a friend we have in 
Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. Oh, what a privilege you carry. Yes. Everything to God in prayer. What a everybody to please stand amen in honor amen. of this hymn no amen amen even at home you can also stand at home amen amen in honor of what a friend we have in jesus amen are we weak and heavy laid on combo with a load of care are we weak and heavy laid Take it to the Lord in prayer. 
forsake thee, uh -huh. take it to the Lord in prayer, do thy friends despise forsake thee, take it to the Lord. I will find a solace there in his arms. He'll take and shield thee. Thy will find a solace. A father, Lord, and I'm a God. Mercy. Here we are this morning. Lord, Come to say thank mercy. you. Because in all Lord, your words say, so in everything, Lord, give thanks. And we, as your people, we come in this house to say Lord, thank you. We thank you for life and health and strength. We thank you for this is the day that you have made. And you say, we shall rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you. Thank you for our pastor. Thank you for his family. We thank you for all your children that gather here this morning. To worship and praise your holy right to name. Your words say, don't forget to assemble yourself in the house. We want to speak to those that ain't similar to themselves this morning. That they invited to come back to the house of prayer. To assemble themselves. To strengthen the house of prayer. To let the devil know that God had all power. That we can do all things, all things. through Christ yes, Lord. that strengthen us. Yes, Lord. What we want to thank you for all week long, yes, Lord. 24 hours of the day, that you put breath in our body. Yes, Hallelujah. That you allowed to go up and down. Yes, Lord. Sometimes it wasn't easy. Sometimes Sometime it was hard to climb the hill. But Lord, we thank you, thank you. that we're still here. We ask you the best of service, best of speaker, the pastor. Strengthen him where he weak. Build him up where he toward now. Let him send a word to your people that they can go on and say, I hear the word. I hear the word from God. And I thank you. I thank you that I can go on a little while longer. We want to thank you, Lord. We ask you, Lord, to the best of all that's here, best of family, whatever it may be that they're going through. But, Lord, we ask you to touch it in the name of Jesus. Because you was already healing. But help us to believe it. Help us to receive it. That you is God. That you died over 2,000 years ago. That we may have this opportunity. But help us to understand it in the name of Jesus. Lord, we want to thank you and praise your holy righteous name. This prayer we do as in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Come on, give God hand praise. Hallelujah. Yeah.
What a friend we do have in Jesus. Hallelujah. How many know he is a friend? Amen. Hallelujah. How many know that he is a mighty God? Amen. Mighty God. Amen. What a mighty God oh. we serve. Oh, what, what a mighty God, God we serve. You know the angels, angels bow before him. Heaven and earth, heaven and earth adore him. What, what a mighty God, God we serve. serve. God, we serve. Oh, what a mighty God, we serve. Uh, you know the angels bow before Him, heaven and earth adore Him. What a mighty God, we serve. Oh, we serve. We serve. Oh, we serve. We serve. Oh, what a mighty God. We serve. You know the angels bow before him. Heaven and earth, heaven and earth adore him. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. We serve. Oh, we serve. We serve. Oh, we serve. We serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. You know the angels bow before him. You know the angels bow before heaven and earth, heaven and earth adore him. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Oh, Jesus is the God we serve. Oh, Jesus is the God we serve. You know the angels bow before heaven and earth. God, we serve. Oh, we serve. We serve. We serve. We serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Uh, you know the angels bow before heaven and earth. Heaven and earth adore him. Oh, what a mighty God. What a mighty God. We are now turn it to the hands of the pulpit. Amen. He Come is on, give God. God hand praise. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in our mouths. How many is glad to be here in the house of the Lord one more time? Amen. I was, the scripture said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into, into the house of the Lord. Amen. A lot of us deal with different things from Sunday to Sunday. But in between, we still have a God that we can call on. We don't have to be in this worship place. We can call on him in our own presence, in our own homes. Come on and say amen. He's an omnipresent God. And he would never leave us nor forsake us. All we have to do is call on that name Jesus. 
and God will be there for you. If you call on that name, Jesus, God said he'll be there for you. Come on and say amen. We serve a good God. We serve a mighty God. And they sung, what a mighty God we serve. Nobody can do it but God. Oh, yeah. Sometimes we call on our friends, and when you call on the phone, you get no answer. And you need somebody to talk to. But when you call on Jesus, he'll be right there to answer the call. Come on and say amen. Hallelujah. I'm glad that I can come to the house of worship and lift my hands. I'm glad that I can come to the house of worship and say hallelujah. Some of us are just one hallelujah away from our victory. Some of us can say thank you, Jesus. And we're just one step away from our breakthrough. Some of us can say, thank you, Jesus. And we're just one moment away from our healing. But God is the one that can do it. Hallelujah. I hear you, Shaylin. I hear you over there. Hallelujah. We're going to acknowledge our deacons with our prayer and our scripture and our song of praise. Program subject to change. At this time, we're gonna call for our offering and we're gonna have our ushers and our trustees to come at this time. If you can govern yourselves accordingly Amen. Let your church say amen. amen. Praise the Lord, everyone. It is offering time and it is also time for you to pick up your communion if you did not. Um, we're happy to see we're happy to see Pastor back in the building today. And we're happy to see a lot of faces that hadn't been back today as well. And um, we bless the Lord for that. So we will be uh, collecting um, the benevolent today. Deacon Rogers will be will be holding for the benevolent. Trustee Michelle Jones will be holding for. be holding for the offering and the tie boxes in the middle. Trustee uh, Irma Smith will also be holding for offering if you're coming on this side of the building. Um, and the tie boxes in the middle as well. This is for that one. Anyone on Zoom, um, PayPal, Cash App is my phone is wrong. PayPal and Cash App is your form of giving, as always. Um, if you would like to contribute to the benevolent, please make sure that you put the notes in um, the appropriate places so we would know how to allocate those funds. So the ushers will direct you after the pulpit. We will do one side at a time. Please follow the direction of the ushers. I will be holding for debit and credit. Thank you.
the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Help me sing. Let the glory, let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Oh, let it rise. We cry out. Oh, 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 let it rise. time we're going to call on our sister Sharon Forbes 
to our virtual viewers, I'm, I apologize. I forgot it. We're living in a new time. Amen. And I have to get acclimated to what's going on. So our virtual viewers, it's nice that you tuned in to uh, St. Matthew's to our worship service today. God bless you. It was nice to see you. Nice to be seen. Come on and say amen. Sister Sharon Forbes will come at this time and give us our announcements. Y'all say amen as she gives. Good morning. Please let us hear the announcements. Of, oh, happy 4th of July. <laughs> We would like to say happy birthday, happy belated birthday to Sister Imani Wilkinson, which was the 29th. Sister Brianna Bromel today, the 4th. Sister Annie Eason, the 7th. And Sister Jacelyn Davis on the 9th. Happy birthday to you all of your family and your church family. Our sick and shut in. Sister Mary Andrews, Mother Janie Bradley, Sister Nadine Fitzpatrick, Sister May Ford, Sister Ann Gallman, Sister Minnie Grennan, Sister Minnie, excuse me, Sister Mamie Grennan, Sister Minnie Harris, Sister Sadie Holly, Trustee Andrea Jackson Brooks, Sister Brenda Jeter, Sister Mary Johnson, Sister Hetty Kelly, Brother Jimmy McCoy, Sister Lucinda Neverson, Sister Willie Francis Payne, Sister Patricia Miller Richardson, Sister Rebecca Seaborn, Brother Gregory Thigpen, Sister Christine Washington, Sister Laura Williams, and Sister Francis Younger. If you would like to reach out to any of these members, you can call or email the church to request their address or telephone number. We have our um, scholarship committee presents 2021 graduation chat and chew. It will be July 25th here at the church immediately following Sunday morning service. Don donations can be made via cash app and add um, scholarship to the memo. We are honoring our high school graduates. So you can see any member of the scholarship committee for tickets, Sister Rosa Edwards, Elder Brenda Ward, Sister Tamika Vincent, and Mother Vincent. You can see those people for tickets. Unison Free Will Baptist Churches Incorporated presents the conference choir open to all singers, both young and seasoned. Rehearsal days are Tuesdays, July 6th and July 20th, 6 to 7 p.m. promptly. St. Mary's Church, 24 Kasuf Street in New Haven. And our other announcements. We have a thank you. Thank you for your love and support during our time of sorrow, the Jackson family. Also, Sister Latoya and Sister Shaylin Hayward were displaced by a fire last week. They did find an apartment, but were, are in need of furniture and other household items. If you would like to help them in any way, you can reach out to her directly. Her number is 203-848-0145. If you send anything to the church for them, please put their name in the memo and they are thanking you in advance. And again, Sister Latoya's number is 203-848-0145. Also, Minister Bessie Bird lost her brother, so the arrangements are incomplete at this time, but please keep the family in prayer. And I see we have um, two visitors. Is that Minister Quadri? back there glad to see you and we have another young lady and i don't know her name but i know her for a long time she's a regular visitor here so we thank you for choosing saint matthews as your place of worship please come again
praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I want to thank you all for your prayers. Uh, last week, the family and I, we were able to have a, a nice respite and a nice time away. And uh, I thank you for just being a loving church and for allowing those things to happen and for praying for us as we went. And so thank you so much. And I want to share something about that just that was encouraging shortly. I want to encourage all of my virtual people who have not yet come into the sanctuary to please join us in the sanctuary. We're, we're coming back to a different normal but we're coming back to the sanctuary. So we invite you in. I know that for uh, some people, your comfort level and, and for other people, if we're honest, it's more about convenience because you can just turn something on and then you don't have to go anywhere. So if we're honest, for some people, it's more about convenience than it is comfort. But whichever one it is, we're inviting you back into the house of the Lord because we want to see you here. And, and we are doing uh, everything that we can to make sure that this place is safe for those that come. So please come and be a part of it. We just want to lay our eyes on you here in the sanctuary. So consider this your personal invitation, all right, to come back and join us in the sanctuary. Today is what uh, the country acknowledges as Independence Day, and some people would say that Thomas Jefferson is responsible for our independence, but if we look back in history, there were no African Americans that were mentioned in the, American, in the original Declaration of Independence, but I thank God that I didn't have to depend on him for my spiritual independence but it was paid for in a place back called Calvary through a person named Jesus Christ. So I'm grateful for my spiritual independence this morning and I acknowledge the person of Jesus Christ. And for those people that are celebrating this weekend, be safe, enjoy your family. After what we have been through, if there ever was a time to enjoy loved ones, now is the time to take time to enjoy those that we love and to let them know and that there's nothing like family and friends that we have the opportunity to spend time with Finally, I acknowledge uh, Minister Quadre back there. Glad to see you. And we also, I believe, have Elder Sheila Gibson. Glad to see you. We're happy to see you. And anyone else who's visiting with us, thank you. I want to share this encouraging thing. Yesterday, I was traveling back home from North Carolina, and we were delayed three different times. And as we were delayed three different times, what came to me as I was getting dressed this morning is sometimes we have a destination that's pre-planned. But during the times of the destination being pre-planned, we can get anxious because we have a timetable that we believe is set. And when that doesn't happen, sometimes we can get frustrated instead of knowing what I remember yesterday is through this whole process. We were sitting on the plane for almost two hours. We were ready to take off, but they wouldn't let us take off. They didn't let us deplane. They made us stay there. But my word for you is just stay there. Because if you stay there, the purpose and the plan of God is going to still take place. And the captain was still talking all during the time. So it made my waiting just a little bit easier because I heard the captain talking and saying, we have just a little delayed, but we're still going to get there. But we don't just want you to get there. We wanted you to get there. All right. Somebody wants to thank God that although you're waiting, it is because he wants you to get there. All right. Somebody ought to thank God that my waiting is not in vain because the captain is still talking. And and what he told me to tell the people of God this morning is that you're waiting because God wants you to get there. All right. Hallelujah. 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 Because the captain was talking, it made my waiting all right. God said, you're going to get there, but you're going to get there all right. Put your hand on yourself and say, I'm going to get there, but I'm going to get there all right. Because God told me so. So for those people who are feeling frustrated because there hasn't been any movement yet, I came to tell you what the supernatural captain told me to tell you this morning is you are not forgotten. You stay in the seat that's been designed for you because sooner or later we're going up. We're going forward. We're going to the design. 
divine destination that has been preordained. But when I got there, I was a okay. Hallelujah. And the storm had passed over. Sometimes he's just trying to keep me until the storm passes over. Can anybody testify? Stay right there and don't move. Because when you get there, you're going to see that the storm has passed over. Don't you give up. Don't you. Stay right there. The captain is talking. Glory be unto God. Hallelujah. Clap your hands and give God praise. Keep those hands going. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I know there's some other folk who are waiting for some stuff like me. And sometimes impatience and frustration tries to creep in, but God told me to tell you to stay right there. You have a divine destination. Glory be to God. Stay right there. Stay right there. I need to tell somebody, if you can turn me up just a hair, that what it proved also is they may delay it, but they can't deny it. Put your head on yourself and declare what God has for me. It is for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'm going to stay right there. It gets tempting to be frustrated. It gets tempted to complain. But although I was waiting, I was safely waiting. Hallelujah, I was safely waiting. Because the captain was talking, hallelujah. Reassuring me that, it, that even though I couldn't see everything, hallelujah. Glory be to God, even though I couldn't see everything. Glory to God. He had it all in view. Put your hand on yourself and say, he's got it all in view. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. He's got it all in view. He's got it all in view. Stay right there. Stay right there. Hallelujah. Yep. Stay right there. Stay right there. Hallelujah. Stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there and listen to what the captain says. Stay right there. Hallelujah. It's all right, I'll give you 60 more seconds to thank him and let him know you're going to stay right there. That's right, sis. Stay right there. It's not in vain. It's not in vain. Stay right there.
Hallelujah. We can help and praise him. I just had to turn a couple of times because I just believe God is turning some things around. And I'm not a I'm not a cliche type of saying, you know, stand up, turn around three times. But I just felt it. As I said, God said, told me to stay right there because he's turning some things around for me. <laughs> and can't nobody turn it around like him. <laughs> I'm not about the cliches. I'm just about what he said. Stay right there. I'm turning some things around for you. And there are some things that I can't. I'm not afraid to admit to you I, that I can't turn around. I want to turn around. I want to fix. But there's some things I can't fix. But if I stay right there. Some things need to be turned around, but I can't do it. But he's the God who's able to shift direction. If you don't believe me, the Bible puts it this way, what the enemy meant for evil. <laughs> you can't tell me God can't turn it around. What the enemy meant for evil. I know that's not just for me. I know it's not. Somebody came in here because they needed to hear God say you were turning it around. I have prepared, but there's a spirit of deliverance that's in the house of God this morning. So you just need to walk in it and believe God that he's turning it around. This is the word that the Lord has promised. Hallelujah. I shall restore unto you that which the canker worm has eaten because I'm turning it around. By my stripes, you shall be healed because I'm turning it around. As for you and your house, they shall be saved. 
because I'm turning it around. God did not give you the speed of fear, but power and love and a sound mind because I'm turning it around. Hell can't stop it. Demons can't stop it. I'm doing it because I can't lie. I'm doing it. Hashatabo said, Lord, thank you for turning it, turning it, turning it, turning it, turning it. Deliverance is here. Deliverance is here. Deliverance is here. The anointing of God destroys the yoke. Deliverance. The Spirit of the Lord is here. I prepared, but he's preaching right now. I prepared, but the Spirit of the Lord is preaching. I hear the Lord saying what he said in the Word of God when Jesus said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me to preach the gospel, to set at liberty those who are captive, to set the captive free. The Spirit of the Lord is preaching now. It's preaching deliverance. Let that stress go. Let that anxiety go. Let that issue go. God is here. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's healing. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's peace. He's turning it around. He's turning it around. He's turning it around. The kingdom of God suffereth violence, and the violent take it. Take your turnaround. Jesus paid for it. Take your turnaround. Jesus died for it. Take your turnaround. Jesus rose for it. The Spirit of the Lord has preached. The Spirit of the Lord has visited us. That's for next week. Maybe. But I just want to declare some things in your hearing because this was not an emotional experience. It was unplanned by me, but planned and ordained by God. I didn't come in here prepared to say that. God knew what we needed to hear. That my very spirit bore witness to the fact that God is turning some things around. Some hard things, some difficult things, some recurring things that have been tormenting us, bothering us oppressing us but God said I'm turning it say I'm turning it around I'm turning it around turning it around turning it around turning it around yeah 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 God
turning it around. Turning it around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can go out of here <laughs> with a different attitude now. Because I heard the captain. I told you how when you hear the captain talking. It produces a kind of confidence that we can't have on our own. Uplifted hands. I'm done. I'm getting ready to call for the deacons because we're getting ready to do communion. I wouldn't dare mix what I say with what God said. And now it's just going to be simple. And I just want you to repeat after me. We're going to make this simple. Lord, I thank you for turning it around. Lord, I thank you for hearing my prayer and turning it around. Lord, I thank you for honoring your word and turning it around. In Jesus' name, amen. It's turning around for me. Sooner or later, turning my face. We're going to open the doors to salvation before we do it's communion. For me. If that's you, you didn't tune in here or you didn't come here by accident. Hallelujah. The Lord needs you to know that He is turning it around. Glory be to God. The presence of the Lord is here. And if you don't know him in the pardon of your sins, if you haven't accepted him as Savior, here's your invitation. Type your name in the chat. Or if you're here, and you're here in the building and you want to come and, and give your heart to Jesus, come now. The deacons are here. I'm here. We won't let you walk by yourself. Is that you? If that's you, the prayer of salvation is, is on the screen. And it says, Dear God, I ask that you forgive me of my sins. You said in your word, if I believe that Jesus died for my sins and that you raised him from the dead, I would be saved. I believe it. And I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I am now saved. Thank you for forgiving me. Thank you for loving me. We will walk this Christian journey together. Hallelujah. Amen. Maybe you're already a believer, but you're just looking for membership of a Christian assembly. Our doors are open for membership as well. If that's you, type your name in the chat, or if you're here in the building and the Spirit of the Lord is speaking to your heart, come now, come now and join St. Matthew's Church. Let us partner with you on this journey. If you accepted either one of those invitations, you can email me at pastorhardy1206 at icloud.com or call me at 203-584-0579, 203-584-0579. God bless you and welcome to the family of God. It's now in the hands of the deacons for our Holy Communion. It's turning around for me. Hallelujah. Stay right there. It's turning around. God, God is turning it around. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we prepare for our com communion Hallelujah. prayer confession, let us recognize our scripture from 1 Corinthians 11th chapter, beginning at the 23rd verse. And it reads as thus, For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. Yes, Lord. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you, this do in remembrance of me. After the same man also he took the cup, when he had supped, saying, This cup is a new testament in my blood, this do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. For, for as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord death till he come. But wherefore, whosoever shall eat of this bread and drink of this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when you come together to eat, tarry one for another. And if any man hunger, let him eat at home, that ye come not together unto condemnation. And the rest will I set in order when I come. And as we prepare ourselves for the, to recite the communion prayer of confession, amen. Truly, we just thank and honor God for all he has done, amen. 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 All that he has done, hallelujah. Amen. Truly, we ask God to give, give us a, Father, come on, let us stand and let us uh, recite the communion prayer of confession. Hallelujah. And it begins with, Father, in the name of Jesus. We ask that you forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness according to your word in 1 John 1 and 9. Create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit in us according to your word in Psalm 51 and 10. We count it done and thank you for doing a complete work in our lives that we may be more like your son. This we ask in the name of Jesus. Let us all say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. A amen. We have us prayer. Amen. 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 We, we do want to bless this juice and wafer. And we pray that God will touch it right now. The juice and the wafer. Because we need you, Lord. We ask you to touch it in a mighty way. We need you, Lord, to pour out your blessing on your people. We here today as an empty picture before full power. Pleading to you, Lord, that you would do these things. We ask you, Lord, to bless the way in a mighty way, Lord. This juice that we got. In, we ask you, Lord, to touch it in the name of Jesus. That it will be the same scream of your blood. And we thank you. We thank you for doing it, Lord. For doing it for us. That when we leave here today, that we be stronger than we ever. We'll be able to go on a little while longer. All through next week. Through digging and seeing highways and byways, Lord. That people is getting cut down. But your blood. <laughs> your blood wiped away all our sins. Right away, all our sin cleans up from all unrighteousness. Help us, Lord, to walk in it. 
and to take this communion and do as you see. We'll do it, Lord. We'll do it, Lord. All we're asking you to do, turn it in, your body and blood. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Take our cups now and uh, pull back the plastic pad. We'll take the bread. We represent our, our Savior's body. I won't say his body was broken, but it was bruised. It was bruised, you know, for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon us. So we're going to take this bread and eat ye all of it. Now we're going to acknowledge and remember. We should just do as often as you do this. This you do in remembrance of me. So we, this juice represents the blood that he shed for our sins. We drink the all of it. Concerning you sooner or later, turn in my favor. It's turning around for me. It won't always be like this. The Lord will perfect that concerning you sooner or later. Turn in my favor. It's turning around for me. It won't always be like this. The Lord will perfect that concerning you sooner or later. Turn in my favor. It's turning around for me sooner or later. Turn in my favor. It's turning around for me. Sooner or later. Turn in my favor. It's turning around for me. Sooner. It's turning around for me. Let's say this one last time with Sister Tamika. Sooner or later. It's going to turn. Turn in my favor. It's turning around. It's turning around for me. It's turning around for me. It's turning around for me. One more time, it's turning around for me. It's turning around for me. Now with uplifted hands, we're gonna settle on that. We're gonna settle on that as the heart of the matter that is turning around for me. Hallelujah. We're 
We're gonna settle on the heart of the matter that is turning around for me. Before I give this benediction, one more confession. Put your hand on yourself and say, it's turning around for me. Hallelujah. As our benediction, we're going to notice Ephesians 3 and 20 and 21. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. Unto him be glory, yes, Lord, in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. Be blessed and be encouraged. Stay right there. It's turning around for you. Stay right there. That's what the captain said. Stay right there. It's turning around for you. It's turning around.